Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So towards the end of last month, I'll let you know that FlyOOBE, which is a popular Windows 11 bypass app, just got better, where with version 1.4, it included a brand new helper called Spot.exe. It added support for Windows 10 consumer ESU enrollment and a whole lot more. I'll leave the video linked for what it's worth. Now, I somehow missed version 1.5, but just to let you know now that version 1.6 is now available. With the developer saying this release brings a major upgrade to the install only area, making both clean installs and repair scenarios easily accessible for everyone. Now, just to go through a couple of the highlights for version 1.6, and I'll leave the download location where you can get all the um, details regarding version 1.6 of Fly OOBE. I'll leave it linked in the description. So just to go through some of these key highlights. First of all, we have a new home start view, where a fresh entry screen now presents the four core options of the app, also accessible via setup. And the next improvement is install only OOBE view, which was introduced in version 1.5, which I said I somehow missed has been expanded with badges, full text search and one-click actions, plus dozens of small optimizations for clean installs and repairs. There's also a now better unified user interface with all views, with all views getting another visual refresh for a more consistent experience, according to the developer. There's also a smarter bloatware remover, which detects and removes unnecessary apps more reliably. They've improved the app installer, which now includes a few more apps to choose from. The core functionality has also been updated and improved. There's also a performance improvement where lower RAM usage and a slightly faster startup has shaved a few milliseconds off the actual startup time. So that's a nice performance fix taking place under the hood. And the developer says there's also a general polish with minor optimizations and fixes throughout. And something else is you can now also try out nightly dev which is basically a very early preview version, which gets updated regularly with the latest features and fixes before they roll out into the next stable release. And the developer also says this release also sets the stage for renaming the repository from Flyby11 to FlyOOBE in the coming weeks. So both projects will be unified in a single code base as I've been letting you know on the channel. So that's the latest with what's new in FlyOOBE 1.6 which is a popular Windows 11 system requirements bypass app. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.